Our next destination brings us to the Lone Star State, where we scheduled a seven-day stay in a small campground outside of Dallas in a town called Cato Mills. MapQuest originally brought us here, to this small place with just a parking lot. We knew we were in the wrong spot, but we got out and checked just in case. Turns out, we were actually at the Northeast Campground in Dallas. Thank goodness. There's incredible amenities and the people are great. Patty at the front desk gave us spot number three, which was close to the shower house. When we got to our spot, we realized that we had lost the keys to the lock that kept this bike on the trailer. After going back here in shame and looking, we realized that we were going to need some help to cut the lock. John, what do you have to say for yourself now that we've made it to our first camping spot? Try to keep better track of your keys. Hmm. See how this works out. Buddy. Worked out pretty good. See how the rest of the trip goes. Successfully removing the lock, it was time to start setting up the camper. We had forgotten how much work it was to actually set up a pop-up camper, and it seemed like a really good idea at the time when we bought it, which it is, but man, it's a lot of work. I realized the inside of the queen bed was sagging, and sure enough, we had broken a weld on the back bumper, which caused it to sag. So like the true hillbillies that we are, we got the jack from the back of the truck, and we jacked up the corner of our camper until further notice. As we continued, we realized that underneath the sink, there's a filter that jiggles loose while you're driving, and you should check that before you turn the water on. I was in complete survival mode, or I would have gotten a great video of John laying in a puddle of water on the floor while I was standing at the door, and I saw a puff of smoke and fire come out of the water heater when it blew out. At the end, though, we ended up with this beautifully set up campsite, and it was time to go to town in Greenville to get some margaritas and some groceries to last us until possibly the end of the week. I asked John to sum up the day in one word. Can't come up Nothing? After a delicious dinner at Tamales and getting some groceries at Walmart, we headed back to the camper to only to find that we had no lights, no heat, no nothing. Turns out we don't have a battery in our camper and the inverter only takes so much juice before it runs out. We spent that night in 40 degree weather with several blankets and breathing in some really, really cold air. Note to self, need a battery. Nonetheless, we cooked a great breakfast in the morning because we survived and we wanted to celebrate before we decided to get some help. Despite her best efforts, Scarlett was not able to get us to leave. Patty up front had her husband John come over and help jack up the back of the trailer and put a bracket on it to get us down the road till further notice. He also made a suggestion of where to go in town to find a marine battery. For those of you who are first time pop-up owners, it's important to know that your battery is not located on the inside near the inverter where you'd think it would be. It's actually located underneath the tongue where it was mounted to begin with and we don't know why ours was gone. After we got that going, we were able to play with the dogs, we were able to go for a ride on the dual sport, and we were able to make plans for the evening as it was John's 47th birthday despite all the work that we had to do that day. So we got some wood to do a fire, and I asked John to describe the day and what had happened. Uh, what to say about it? I don't know what to say about it. It's been a heck of a deal. I think we got it figured out, but. He's working on it, but on camera, he's a man of very few words. After a little happy hour, we were able to find a great place called Ciro's Seafood and Burgers. It was fantastic, and I highly recommend it. When we got back to the camper, we spent the night in a very hot one, knowing that our thermostat is not quite working right. Hey, Empty Nesters. Day two here at Greenville. Although we've had our ups and downs, I wouldn't regret this trip, the stop at all. Uh, 
you would like and subscribe and definitely vibe. It's 75 degrees and sunny today and we appreciate you watching our videos as we continue on our journey.